Mr. Mills ended up with my gi top because I can't even fit into it anymore. Um, and it, it looked better on you than it did on me. Um, I have to have a realisation that things may not go exactly as I hoped. Um, and there are certain things I want to put into place for various reasons before that happens. And tonight gives me the opportunity to do something which I hope, um, well, this is for me, but not for you guys. Um, and that's this. There are four friends of mine here of different lengths of, uh, well, different lengths generally. Um, <laughs> But the thing is, for different reasons, these four gentlemen have become major parts of my life. And, and to be honest with you as well, um, Mr. Kirkland needs to come out to this as well. Sure. Yeah. He's not as good as us. I know that. Yeah. 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 I've seen him in shower anyway, you don't compare. <laughs> <laughs> you stand next to me. You're as big as Ross. That's big as Ross. Anytime you're me. bloody ready. Oh. <laughs> well, this is not my I think he's got his Ben Moir love in in person here, that's why he's going to be. But look, seriously. If it hadn't been for the, 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 uh, the cancer, I probably would not have had some of the relationships I would have had with these guys. Neil, I met at the uh, other people's show, and we hit it off uh, like a, uh, just we did. So I did, within seconds of meeting Keith, we were friends. Jarvis did the same, Mike, you know, he's been my longest serving student, and we've been together for about 12 years, haven't we, I think, something like that. Mr. Corwell and I, um, have had a different sort of relationship. We started a little bit differently. <laughs> and that story will be told one day, and it's a wonderful story, and it's just brilliant. I said I'm going to say something naughty then. No, I can't, because I promised you I wouldn't. You just said that. I didn't want to say it. You said what I didn't want to say. William is for King Priestley. Keith epitomises everything that I like about traditional martial arts. It's honest, it's true, yeah. it takes no shit. He's the last pugilist and it's fucking mental. He's a mentalist. He's How do you tell that bit, Mark? <laughs> but there are very few people in this world I respect more than you, Keith. I start crying, he's dead. <laughs> the next one, you get the black bit, but it matches your soul. <laughs> Forget all the bluff, the bluff and the bluster. There again, it's rarely a day when this gentleman doesn't tone me up and offer me support and friendship and love. And when you think where we could have gone to, we could have been in the fucking field punching the shit out of each other. We've done rather well. That's what he was paid to do. I know. We give him money for that. And I'm still here. Anyway, it's been an honour and a privilege to be here. Very honoured if you. I'm sure people can hear me. I'd be very honoured if you would put this up in your wonderful dojo. I'll totally make the pictures on it there. No, no, but that's up to you, Kerber, on your own later night. Hold on. You're steeped in our. Why am I naked? No. Well, you are, but it's where the mousetrap is. Just your damn small. I didn't say that. I'm giving this to Russell Garmesty for one reason and one reason only. Apart from his. He's made me realise that when I start training again uh, and I get better, I'm going to wear, I'm going to start off as a white belt again because I need to start learning again because he showed me what honesty in martial arts is about. He's cut all the crap out and this gentleman is really, in my opinion, the leading light in British martial arts now. He's oh. getting rid of the shit. Oh! oh I for one reason. Because we love him. 
Yeah, we do. And that's it. That's it. where my yellow belts have beaten the crap out of them, the tenth dance, and my yellow belts have beaten the shit out of them, right? Dangre's been nothing to me. This piece of belt, I would die for. I would proper die for. And that man there, I've got to kill it. I don't accept it. I'm going to put it down there, okay? Hey. 